Selling at La Bartica. Just arrived after 30 miles on the river. 30 miles away from Parica. And we've gotten to Bartica. And this is the landing, the selling. Where do you take the boat? Okay, so the sign says, Welcome to Bartica, the heart of El Dorado. Rafaelitos, we are now in Bartica, and we're going to take a look around. Oh, this is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. This is the Regional Democratic Council building, Maritime Administration Department. And on the right hand side, there is a new modern hotel. We're standing at the entrance to the Stelling. That's the Stelling. That's the boat landing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk up and out of the Stelling entrance to this first street. YouTube. So we're in Bartica this weekend. Welcome to Bartica. And here I am on First Avenue outside of Churches Fried Chicken. And behind me is the police station and the entrance to the ferry. And across the street behind me is a sign that shows a picture of the president and the mayor of Bartica, Mr. Gifford Marshall. We're going to have a conversation with Mr. Marshall today. We're going to have him describe for us what's all the good that's happening in Bartica and what are some of the challenges that he's facing and then why should tourists and Guyanese expatriates come to Bartica and how can they contribute to investment and perhaps um, establishing residents remigrating to Bartica. So stay tuned. Church's Chicken is right at the corner and then there's a police station. You can see there's courts. And looking back, there was a hotel right in the corner, right in the entrance. A hotel. This is the traffic department, Bartica Immigration Office, and that's the Bartica Police Station. Seems to be a unfinished building, a hotel going up perhaps. This is the Banks DIH Limited. Bartica. And we're heading to the mayor's office, which apparently is close by, right here. And we have arrived, that's the mayor's office. Today we're with Mr. Gifford Marshall, the mayor of Bartica. Mayor of Bartica. And we're going to ask him for his point of view on the town of Bartica. 
What is all the good that's happening in Bartica? Thank you. Bartica remains, um, or I should say, we're working towards making Bartica in a year's time, Guyana's model green top. Also, we're working feverishly to ensure we take up the title as Guyana's tourism capital. And in that regard, we're working in building parks, um, building boulevards, and changing our infrastructure to ensure that we, one, um, become the model green town for Guyana, and two, ensure that tourism is alive and well here. As you're aware, we have a number of resorts um, around the township of Bartico. We also have a number of waterfalls, and I mean, it's just scenic here. So um, Bartico is going places, and definitely we welcome you to Bartico. So Gifford, what are some of the challenges you're facing here in Bartica? Um, basically, when it comes to telecommunication, of course, that's a major challenge for us. Our internet is almost dead slow. But we were assured by the major companies in Guyana that at the end, by the end of 2017, the necessary infrastructure will be in place to ensure that we have a very um, fast internet. So, Mr. Uh, Marshall, why should tourists come to Bartico? All right, tourists should be visiting Bartico for two reasons. One, we're the green capital of Guyana, and as you're aware, Guyana is the second greenest country in the world. As a result, it is very important for you to visit the, the green capital of this beautiful country of ours. And secondly, like I would have mentioned earlier, uh, we are moving towards being the tourism capital of Guyana. And nature, you're going to have nature at its best in Bartico and, the, and its environment. So um, tourists, of course, should visit our township, Bartico. So Gifford, why should expatriate, or how can expatriate Guyanese invest in Bartica? Areas of investments are um, first, renewable energy, because we're the green capital, so we're moving swiftly towards renewable energy. Um, secondly, waste management is a major area for us, so there's lots of room for investment in waste management. And thirdly, um, because we're moving towards the tourism capital, being the tourism capital of Guyana, we're also um, promoting event tourism. Event tourism will include um, recreational activities, religious activities and the like. So tourism is a good area to invest in and like I said renewable energy and waste management. All right thank you very much. There you have it folks, this was a tour of Bartica, the second fastest growing city in Guyana, the city with the second largest volume of financial transactions because of the gold industry. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe and share this video on other social media platforms. Later!